back to Nancy's neighborhood. And it's good to be back with you all. And and let me tell you what we're doing right now. Um, I'm going to I'm going to introduce you to my producer, Bryce Gibson, and Bryce is leaving me this year, and I just really don't want that to happen, but he's going to MTSU, and I would just wish him the best, but Bryce and I have worked together for two years. Mm -hmm. He just graduated from Walker Valley Thursday night, and so my new producer, who is an assistant producer right now until Bryce leaves, Alex is in the, in the room in there doing everything, so that's why we're kind of hoping that everything works out. And Alex is grinning, so he seems to think everything's going to work out. So, so Bryce, tell everybody why you're leaving me. Well, it's not that I'm trying to leave you. I mean, <laughs> I've had a great two years with the station and then working with the show. I mean, once I started, my first, like, assignment was Nancy's Neighborhood, and, like, they threw me in my little office and said, all right, uh, we want you to do Nancy's Neighborhood. And I was like, what is that? And they said, uh, you'll meet Nancy Kaysen. And I was like, okay. And then I started doing the show, and, and – uh, yeah, everything worked out pretty well, and it's been it's been a fun two years. Like, it's been a lot of fun. It has been, and we've gotten along just fine enough. And I've told several people, Bryce did what's called work study. Mm -hmm. uh, he got credit for producing my show, but I told uh, Mr. Coggin, uh, who's the uh, secondary supervisor, I said, Bryce is the only teenager I allow to tell me what to do, <laughs> and he does, but he does it very, very nicely. His mom and dad raised him well. He does it very nicely, but he is always sure that I'm doing things the way I should be. So, tell everybody why you won't be in Cleveland after, say, mid-June. Well, my, I plan on moving out to Murfreesboro in June, June 21st is my expected move out date, and we'll see how that works out. Um, but I'm going to go up to MTSU and study mass communications, hopefully get up there with a good mobile production company, which is what I plan on doing after college, and we'll see what works out with that and hopefully everything's going to work good and I'm looking at a few companies in Murfreesboro and Nashville right now to get involved with. I've talked to a huge company out of Nashville called T and DV Television. Oh wow. They're everywhere. They're across the globe. Like this weekend they were in Ontario, Canada. They had a truck in uh, Florida, a truck in California. And they're everywhere so uh, I really want to get involved with them. That's my plan and I've talked to them a few times and we're going to see what works out with them. That's super. That's a little bit bigger, bigger than uh, WT and B. Yeah, just a little bit. But uh, and, and you have gotten to travel some with WT and B. You got to go to Florida for live wrestling. <laughs> yeah, and we, we got to do a little bit of that. Yeah, a little bit of that. But uh, I'm so excited for Bryce because I think this is wonderful. And I, I want to tell y'all right now that in five years, because it's a four-year program, right? Mm -hmm. In five years, I want y'all to start watching sporting events on TV and see if one of the producers or something is at Bryce Gibson on ESPN because that's where I expect to see Bryce. But uh, but this has been a wonderful experience working with Bryce and, and uh, like I say, he's a great guy and we've really enjoyed. The two years has gone really fast. Oh, yeah. But I went to graduation Thursday night. So tell us, share a little bit about graduation, Bryce. Well, it rained. It did, it rained. <laughs> so we got moved to the gym, which was a little unfortunate. But, I mean... We didn't, a lot of the seniors didn't really care that they got moved to the gym because... <laughs> they just wanted to go. We were, we were ready to leave. I mean, I've had a, it, it's been a lot of fun with the, that group of students I've been with. I mean, a lot of those kids I've been with for 13 years, like going from Michigan Avenue to Ocoee to wow. Walker Valley. So it's been, it's been quite a ride. We've all grown up together, basically. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're pretty, like a really close group, honestly. Like, I mean, there wasn't a senior that I watched uh, across that stage on Thursday night that I hadn't had a conversation with or hadn't talked to before. And that's so awesome. It was it was a lot of fun. We were happy to we were happy to get out of Walker Valley, but we're we're still a pretty close group. We've been going to graduation parties, and I mean we're still we're still hanging out for now. But I don't I don't know what's going to happen as the time goes on. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it, it it was a it was a good time seeing everyone that I mean I started kindergarten with, walk across the stage, and see so that's awesome. Yeah, Absolutely it, it was awesome. a lot of fun. And, and what I thought was really interesting last year at the Walker Valley graduation, we were on the football field, mm -hmm. and Coach Webb came up and he said. Um, Bryce Gibson is producing graduation, and right. so you were doing whatever. I mean, you were producing graduation. You told everybody where they needed to be, what microphone they were supposed to talk into, and all of that kind of stuff. Right. So I would just wondered this year who produced graduation. Well, I was really pushing for Alex to go for it, which he's in there doing the show right now, so hopefully I'll look good. If I don't, I'm going to have to <laughs> let him hear about it. But, oh, um, you're looking pretty good. Well, yeah, you. you're Thank looking you. pretty good. But Alex was, I was planning on having Alex do it. I know he did a lot of the setup for graduation. Um, I heard when the show started that he wasn't the one behind the controls because uh, the, the the teacher there decided that he wanted to take control of that. And then that's 
totally fine. There was a lot of pressure on that show that night, and the body, a lot of changes. It was in the gym, so if it was on the football field, I'm sure Alex probably been running the show. But right, a lot of changes happened. So, but Alex is. He's, I, I like comparing him to me, basically. I mean, he, I, when I see him do like what he does, he reminds me a lot of myself. Because when I started, it was like, when I came to WTB as a sophomore, because I started, I did the graduation my sophomore year, and that's when Jay and Josh like found out about me. And I started talking to them, so then I came there that, I came here that sophomore summer before my junior year, and then my junior year, I started doing the sports and stuff. And that was just like a, it kind of shocked me a little bit because I was because I was in charge then because then it was up to me to <laughs> call the shots and I, mean, I was kind of kind of like a I was really timid about how I called shots and I'd be like okay camera one pan left <laughs> camera one pan left and I mean and that works. He got over that, folks. He got over it real <laughs> that fast. That works sometimes, but I mean they don't. A lot of the guys I've worked with now, like I tell them, I tell them all before we start. I never like call anyone by their name when I'm directing, and a lot of people don't because of. The things that might end up being said, <laughs> but um, like Alex knows that when I like I say it before every single show. Listen, I'm gonna call you by your camera number. I'm talking to the camera. I'm not talking to you. So if I start getting mad, I'm gonna say, "Okay, camera one, get it together. <laughs> like you gotta do, do your job." But I mean, it's been a lot of fun, and it's really got me out of my shell because I was really quiet. And you can't be a director if you're quiet. You gotta I would think so. you gotta get out there, and they gotta know what you want when you want it. So. Well, you've never been quiet with me. So that's <laughs> yeah. but that. I mean, he's always and like I said, he's always saying. Take your necklace off because it's clicking on the, you know. <laughs> that's why we got and, that nice mic and, now. Yeah, I know. That's why they gave me this big mic because I was having to take my jewelry off because it was clicking. See, click, click. But anyway, uh, and, and Bryce and I, I, I think we've had a good working relationship for two years. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine anybody not being able to work with Bryce because he's super. And, and if you're doing something wrong, Bryce is very calm about telling you that you're doing something wrong or that you need to move something or he doesn't holler at you, and which is good, but... He is the producer, and I do listen to him when he says things. So I wanted people to actually see who's the guy that I've been talking to behind the the, the window over there yep, and yep. who tells me how much time I have left, and <laughs> then, and he's doing things like this. And he's wow. Oh, I've learned. I've learned my fair amount of sign language being on the show. We've got, <laughs> we've got the this, uh-huh. and the five, and the three, yeah. the two. <laughs> And I'll just stand over there and hold it up for about five minutes and wait, and then it's like, well, now we've got like none, so I go and wrap it up. But I mean, it, it yeah, works out. Sometimes I ignore him when he's over there giving me, you know, three fingers or something. I know one day uh, something was happening I can't remember, and I was trying to get him to stretch something. Oh, yeah. And after it was over, I said, did you understand what that meant? And he said, not exactly, but we're okay. I said, all right, good. So, yeah, anyway. I used to have to bang on the window whenever we were yeah. over there on that side. But, I mean, we kind of got over that. I used to be in here. That was... I know, Bryce Back used to sit day. basically where he is, mm-hmm. and I was over there in front of the window at the two chairs and, and the nice little table, and I could see Bryce a whole lot better than I could after they moved him into the sound booth, with, with that, which was, I'm sure, better for him, but sometimes the glare from these lights in here, I couldn't exactly see, and sometimes he'd have to knock on the window, and <laughs> so I could pay attention, but, but I'm going to miss Bryce, but you're going to be here through mid-June, mm-hmm. and I tried to get him to commute on Mondays and Wednesdays from MTSU, but he doesn't seem to think that's a feasible thing to do. <laughs> and, of course, if he gets this job with that Nashville studio, mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah, it would be a lot of fun. I mean, I still plan on, there's some things that I'm working out with uh, Jay and Josh to see what kind of possibilities I'll have in the future. Cause, I, mean, I, I, I mean, I'm not going to say that I like did a ton with WTMV, but, I mean, I did a fair amount. We got a production bus that's right it's different, do. Mm-hmm. but uh it was something that we worked hard on this summer like past summer and it's and i really see like i feel like the station is really starting to grow a lot more mm-hmm. than it was whenever i first started and it's been like jay and josh have been working real hard to getting that going so it's something that i feel like it's gonna be big in cleveland and it's getting bigger so i want to be around as much as i can i mean cleveland's my hometown so right i gotta gotta stick around to that so whatever i can do with WTNB, i'm gonna try and stick around with but We'll just have to see how everything works out with Nashville. Yeah, because they may want you full time. I mean, you've got <laughs> yeah. to go to class, but they're going to want you in those other right. times. But if you can get back, we'd love to have you back. Mm-hmm. So what Bryce is going to do, I wanted Bryce on today because uh, I don't know exactly when your last day is going to be, and you don't know exactly when your last day is going right. to be. But I thought I'd get Bryce on and talk about it, and then uh, and then before Bryce leaves, I'll get him to, to – uh, to run the sound booth and get Alex out here so y'all can meet him. 
Because I think they met you when we first started, we did. didn't they? Yeah, like yep, they second met you. Episode. Yeah, the second episode, you met Bryce so that you'd know who he was. So when I'm fussing about Bryce, you'd know who I was fussing about. <laughs> so, uh, so explain to people just a little bit about how work study works. So at Walker Valley, when I first started work based learning, um, it was a little bit slimmed down to what it is now. Uh, we didn't have so much paperwork, and uh, the paperwork that comes along with it. It's, it's really industry specific. So, like, if you want to go into like a factory work and uh, go intern with like Denso and people like them, like that's going to be really good for you with the paperwork they give you, and it really highlights like stuff that you'll actually learn and stuff. With me, like I've had to fill out the industry paperwork. It's like, uh, tell me a safety thing that you did today at work, and it was like, well, I didn't stick my hand in the printer, so I, I'm okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Didn't shock myself, but I mean, um, there's it's a lot of fun doing it at Walker Valley, and uh, the teachers are really involved. And like what the kids are doing and what, how they're getting it done, and then you get awarded a fair amount for doing the stuff you do. Even like I, mean, I don't know how I got the awards I got, but and you got two of them on CTE yeah, Award Day. I was so proud of you. I got to graduate with distinction, and that was all part of work-based learning. So it's it's been a fun ride. Like it's, that's been a lot of fun. I got to do it for two years. All the kids do it their senior year. Some kids do it both years, but they really don't like want you to start doing it until you're your senior or junior because. You can't really drive before then, so that, that is a thought. I that kind of makes about it that. the yeah. issue. Mm, yeah. Yes, and driving from Walker Valley into downtown Cleveland would be yes. You need to be able to get here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's been a lot of fun doing that. And um, uh, the first year I did, I did it with uh, Scott Webb. And Webb's uh, Webb's a great guy. So I didn't get to see him at graduation, character. but he, I think he was there. I think he, he sent me a text message, and yeah, he's a good guy. I've really missed him this year. And mm -hmm. then I did it with uh, Coach Dillon. And Coach Dillon's Quite the, quite the guy. I got to play baseball with him my freshman year, but then did work based on him last semester. And then this semester I did it with uh, Nate McKay, which is the AVU teacher now at Walker Valley. I mean, and all the guys have been really, like, into what I'm doing and want to know what I'm doing. And they, like, on the their job they have to show up and, like, watch you once or twice and see how you're doing it. And McKay showed up this year to a game and watched me produce the game. So it's, it's really, like, if you want to get out and do something and, like, what you're – in your career, like what you want to be doing, then that's a good place to start, and it gets you a good foundation. I think so. Uh, Mr. McKay came by here once to meet me, mm -hmm. and I interviewed him on the show. So, right. so he checked on Bryce then too to be sure he was doing what he was supposed to be doing. Yeah. Which we're never sure exactly what Bryce was supposed to be doing, except he's in charge, and we know <laughs> that we're on the air. And you know, Channel Five Charter, Channel Two Ten Comcast. The tower's been down, but where are we on that? Is well, you know, I don't. See, that's the thing is I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing either, so I also don't know what <laughs> what goes on around here. I just kind of sit back. I know I have certain places I need to be. Jay and Josh tell me where I got to go, and I'll just show up and do it. So it's they're the, they're the guys to give a call about that. That is true. That's very true. But I was so glad that Bryce was assigned to Nancy's Neighborhood. So I just want to wish you the best. I don't want you to leave, but I do want you to leave. So, so And I've got. Alex coming on and he's in there in the studio right now shaking his head at me like I'm not sure what that means but anyway Alex and I will learn what all these things mean but <laughs> Bryce thank you so much for being on with me today yeah, no problem. and I'll have you for another month that's a month exactly from um, June 21st uh, so. there we go a month exactly from June 21st we will not be doing a show on Memorial Day mm -hmm. because Bryce and I would like to take that day off and and so uh, so we will not be doing that show but then we probably have other shows in between now and a month, and if I did the math, I could tell them how many shows. But anyway, Bryce, thank you for being on with me, yeah, Dad. No I appreciate it. Okay, folks, I'm going to take this little commercial break again so that Bryce can swap seats with Alex. And and uh, and I'm not going to interview Alex today. I'm not going to introduce him to you. I'll wait till sooner, till closer to when Bryce is leaving. So watch the commercials, support our sponsors because they pay our bills. And I'll be right back with some events that are coming up. So don't go away. I guess the clerk again.